This week was Columbus Day weekend. We're only out for an overnight. I got a party to go back to, but uh, did a little bit of decorating work here at our cabin. Um, our hooks came in from the blacksmith. We made all the hooks and uh, oh, about a week, and uh, we hung up um, another six foot saw. Over the other one, I'm going to take the other one back sometime and clean it up some more. I like the way the top one looks better. And then, uh, I got one more saw over here to do, which is why there's a whole gap in the middle. So, uh, I cleaned those up. Um, I got one more to do. Um, I'm taking the front room, and I don't have any work to show you, but I'll show you what we've been working on. So what I've been working on in here is getting these windows trimmed out. So we cut all the wood for them and uh, now we'll sand them down and uh, stain them for next week. So hopefully I can get them in next week. Um, I usually just belt sand them. That's the type of finish I did on these. And it leaves a lot of the marks in place but uh, takes the rough edges off. And then I'll finish them up with the same stuff I did over here. Um, and I'll come back take that shelf back off so I can stain the shelf supports which I forgot about so yeah that's uh... it's coming together and we'll start trimming out the rest of the room sooner or later I have no baseboard in place yet so uh... I'm taking it to the guest cabin and show you what I'm working on over there Before I head back, I figure I will uh, show you what the uh, foliage is doing out here. It's looking pretty awesome. It's raining this morning, but uh, it's cleared up nicely. We had fire going last night, but put everything out by the time the morning rolled around. We're at like peak uh, leaf peeping time. So it's uh, about gorgeous out here. Okay, let me head back to the guest cabin. We'll start down here at the outhouse. We got a fresh coat of stain on the whole thing. Yeah, it's not a pretty thing, but And then on the inside we did the same. Let's open it up. So, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, hopefully the uh, mice will, at least we'll notice them better when they come in. It was pretty dirty before, we've been using it for a storage shed. So, let's head inside. Oh, I'm going to first mention yeah, those little demons are still back. And uh, after we boxed off all the uh, ways for them to get in, I'm trying to find it here. I don't know, they, they chewed a hole underneath the, uh, the tin. Oh, way in the back here, I think. Where did they do that, Rich? Yeah. So, we're going to have to put some metal up underneath that to keep them from from finding new ways in. It's a constant battle. We, we did do some squirrel hunting this weekend and took uh, four chipmunks and a couple gray squirrels out. The gray squirrels are in the freezer. We'll have them next weekend. <laughs> um, yeah, so we last week we uh, we did all the soffit work up in here and that uh, forced them to find a new way in. They are relentless. Let's go inside. A bunch of boards up here are going to be used to box in like this one here has been done. So we'll get to that some more over the next couple of weeks. So we had hooks. So uh, more decorating work has been done. 
I, I call it Better Homes and Garden uh, Redneck Edition. It's almost centered with the building. <laughs> but uh, I don't think it looks half bad. Ooh, a lot of staining on the pieces. These are all stained. All the ones up there have one side stained. And uh, these are all been stained. So we're, we're good to hang and bang some more. I'd like to get it all taken care of before winter. We'll see how far we get. This is only going to go back to the loft. Because we're going to put a full ceiling in the loft area. So people don't whack their heads so much. So those will be uh, prior to that last stud up there. We'll bring a 1 by 10 material up and put that in place. And in the very top, you can see we installed a ridge piece up there for that area. So That's about it for this week though. Uh, I had the family out and I don't try to spend too much time doing work. Otherwise, I get in trouble. So yeah. Oh, we did stop by at, uh, let me go outside here. We, went, we stopped by uh, an Amish um, shop and uh, we ordered a PVC, or not PVC, um, plastic, what, whatever you call it, um, seat for the front here. So it has two seats and a table. That will be done sometime in the fall. He's going to work on that because we ordered custom colors. And then for my place we got a uh, cedar rocker coming in. Uh, glider, double seat. So we'll get that in next week. Um, we had the minivan and I couldn't put it in the minivan with the people in the minivan so we'll come back down. But the cool thing I saw and uh, he was very interested once I started talking about it was as you can tell I have a lot of two man saws. And he had a double sided one. It had a blade on the front and the back which I've never seen. I took some pictures of it um, it's from Emerson Smith from Beaver Falls, PA. I'm going to try to do some research when I go back out. He was interested in finding more information. But I actually had the date September 9th, 1894 or 1884? 1884 on the blade. Which I don't usually see him stamp with a you know, exact, date. exact date like that. Normally I see an etching. So it's interesting. Um, like I said, I've never seen one. Neither had he. Um, and he just had it as a wall hanger. But once I started talking about it, he was he was all giddy and excited. <laughs> so, oh, I think that's about it for this week. Like I said, we got that stuff hung up on the walls. We got the window trim um, cut and test fitted. Now he's going to sand it and stain it and install it next week, which would be awesome. Um, and uh, continue working on the ceiling in here. Um, before winter we're going to get the uh, firewood pile stacked next to the houses. Um, my porch one's pretty far down. i got to stack that up. i got a bunch of cherry and apple um, underneath my uh, barn overhang and i got to split some of that. So I'll do some of that in the next couple of weeks. Uh, before hunting season. I just don't want it to, uh, I don't want to be doing it while it's snowing on the ground. Now depending on the winter, the last two years there hasn't been that much snow during hunting season. So I haven't used that much wood but you can never really predict it. So, yeah, I think that's it for this week. We're going to head out, go to a party, and, uh, yeah, get back to, get back to the city. So, until next time, thanks for watching.